Welcome to this week's episode of Organize and Socialize. I missed you guys last week. Let's get a couple of peeps on here and then I'll begin. Because if anyone is late to the game, then that's on them. And hopefully this live will save so that everyone else can enjoy it for the next 24 hours. Hey! <laughs> Where's your wine, laser? Okay. Enough drinking for me. Okay. Shall we begin? There's a fly here, excuse me. Shall we, shall we? How's everyone's Pesach preps coming along? I think I'm going to start. And then if anyone joins, then they'll join in. And yeah. So, today is all about Pesach, Passover. Hello, welcome. So... The last time we spoke, it was actually a couple of weeks ago. We did not do this last week. I spoke about spring cleaning and cleaning your home for Passover, for Pesach. So hopefully your homes are spick and span and all ready for the next step, which is cooking and shopping mm -hmm. and menu planning. So what I have here, I have something with me, which I'm going to show you which is basically something I typed up. I typed up a cleaning schedule, a menu, shopping list, and the next step is to put it all into specific days on the calendar of when it's gonna get done. Okay, so this is what I did. One second, I'm gonna flip it around. Okay. So here I have, dun, 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 I have my menu for every single meal for Pesach. Um, we have the day of Pesach over here. Here, see me pointing? Um, everything from like the day of, um, every single thing that's going to be served at the night meal, then the day meal. And then the night meal, and it goes through every single meal and what we're going to be, ha what I'm going to be serving. Okay. Now, what I just started doing was writing a day of the week next to the food item, and that is the day that I'm going to be preparing that food item. Okay. So, for example, th is Thursday. So Pesach falls out on a Friday night. I am only turning over my kitchen on Wednesday, which means that I can only start cooking Wednesday night, which is fine. I'm totally cool with that. I like to have fresh food, you know? Um, so what I've been doing is just writing a day of the week next to each thing. As you can tell, I am not done yet. I am in the middle of that. Um, and after that, I'm going to be taking these items and putting it in my day planner so that when I go to my day planner and I see what do I need to do for today, I'm going to have a list of items to cook. Um, and that's, that's how I'm going to know what I need to do and when. Now, based off of my menu, I also made, by the way, I also made like a general list of things that I'm going to need to make, like different desserts or things to have um, that I just want to have around my house, like applesauce or sautéed onions. I love to have that just to like cook with. So those are probably going to be things I'm going to cook on the first couple of days that are easy to be frozen and still taste yum. Um, and yeah, just something else to keep in mind. Um, okay, now over here I have my shopping list. I wrote down every item that I'm going to need from for every single store I need to go to. And as you can tell, I already started 
and I've been crossing off things that I've already purchased. Um, the, most of the things that are left are like produce and things like that that I only want to get at the last minute. Well, just a couple of days before because I don't want it to go bad. So I'm only going to be doing that next week because I'm not planning on cooking before that. Um, but I have most of my shopping done. I have my menu made. Just have to put it through. Um, just have to decide what day it's being made on. And then I'll get that done. Now, what do we have left? Um, the rest of my order, which really this has all been done. Um, these are just things that I have not crossed off yet, but they are actually purchased already. Um, now, I'm going to flip this back around. Okay. So, once your, once your list is made and everything is in your calendar, you're pretty much ready. I feel like that most of the work that goes into um, Pesach preparation is what goes on in our minds. We like work things up to make it seem like impossible and this crazy task, but really as long as we write it down and we have, we decide this is the system that we are going to create and that we are going to make it, you know, special and nice and however it's going to work for us, that's what makes it work. And for me, at least, that's how, that's where, like, a lot of the stress is. It's, like, the pre-stress, like, how is this going to happen? No, 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 you know? Like, it's going to be fine. Breathe through it, put on some music, crank open those windows, and you're going to have a wonderful holiday with your friends and your family. And, yeah. Um, so this was actually just like a quick, short, you know, nothing too intense, just trying to show you that really it's not that difficult. Um, now I did want to say a couple of things that someone, um, mentioned to me just to make it like a fun holiday, um, just to get a couple of things to make it more like family oriented, get the little kids involved in the process. So one thing was, um, many people like to make sorbet on Pesach, so you can get these, um, they're like ice pops, you know how like you buy ice pops from the store in like these tubes, right? You can buy the plastic on Amazon and then you just pour the liquid inside and freeze it. And it's just like a fun thing to have on Pesach, especially when, you know, there's so much that we can't purchase. Um, another thing is you can buy these like children size gloves. So I pretty much like to use gloves when I'm cooking and I want to get my kids involved. So I bought a pack of gloves that it's their size. So they're going to be excited to put it on and help in the kitchen. So just a couple of things just to help make it fun and exciting. And um, hope you all have a wonderful, happy Pesach, happy Passover. And... Feel free to send me a message if you have any questions about it or any comments. I'm, I'd love to help you out. Have a wonderful evening and thanks for joining.